Hey guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Induna Wengombe, which means headman of cattle. My name, of course, Mitchell Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. So today I'd love to talk about different leaks for different seasons. Information is contrast to Farmers Weekly and from Fur Mall feed producers. Let's get into this information. Animal production in Southern Africa has traditionally relied on felt for part of or the whole life cycle of the felt will always be the lowest even at expensive land prices. Moreover, the limitation of the felt in efficient animal production systems are not a concern if the implemented supplementation program complements the nutritional value of the felt during different seasons of the year. Felt production and management Felt management practices can lead to the deterioration or improvement of the felt. The effect of the felt condition on several production parameters are well documented. In a study done by Sneeman in 2003, felt in good condition with, with a basal coverage of about 8.3% was compared with a, re, with a reasonable felt with a basal coverage of about 6.4%. Poor felt with a basal coverage of about 2.9 percent. The dominant species on the good felt include roigras and finger grass. On reasonable felt, the dominant species include curl leaf and layman's love grass and bush felt drop seed. On poor felt, the dominant species include tassel three owned and common carrot seed grass. The production of dry matter on good felt was 1,238 kilograms a hectare. On reasonable felt, it was about 700, 768 kilograms a hectare. And on poor felt, it was about 368 kilograms a hectare. With respective grazing capacity of about 5,2 hectares large stock, 8,3 hectares large stock, and 19, 4 hectares large stock. The carrying capacity of good felt is approximately 270% better than that of poor felt and other criteria such as evapotranspiration, rainwater runoff and sediment loss are much less on good felt. Felt in good condition is also much less sensitive to drought and proper management practices will reduce drought risk. It is therefore clear that the, the conservation of felt quality should be, the care, should be the center of a farmer's approach to livestock production. A practice that is undoubt, undoubtedly improves the felt production on felt composition in animal production is the implementation of a full rest period during the growing season, every second or third year. Seasonal rest. Seasonal rest not only allows plants to rest, but also to recover by building root reserves, all found that the production of roigras in sourfield areas improves 170%. After a seasonal rest, compared with roigras that was grazed the previous season, in sweetfield areas, In sweet fruit areas, it could even be necessary to allow the felt to rest for two consecutive growing seasons to promote vigor and production. Various studies have shown that a stock load in line with the production ability of the felt yields the highest profits per hectare. Overgrazing can be advantageous over the short term. Time over the short overgrazing can be advantageous over the short term but has disastrous financial consequences on long term. In contrast, a consecutive stock load and good felt management reduces drought risk. Felt quality Dutoy, Low, and Milan drew the following conclusion as far back as 1940 after a comprehensive survey on the, on the composition of pastures. Judged by the estimate, estimated requirements of cattle and sheep for growth, all South African pastures 
composed mainly of grass of grasses are deficient in phosphorus crude protein and in certain areas sodium for a period ranging from five to nine months of the year depending on the area there are indications in certain of these regions the pastures may be deficient in phosphorus throughout the year providing sufficient provided sufficient food is available an intake of phosphorus crude protein or sodium below the optimum requirement for growth will seldom occur on pastures composed mainly of bushes the nutritional value of pastures thus differs as dramatically as the environment as the environments in which they are found and there is no one size fits all approach to correct the nutritional deficiency and imbalance in all type of pastures formal i said formal but it's formal formal feeds a pioneering force in the field of supplementary feeds for ruminant for over 35 years has developed systems and products that complement deficiency or imbalance in specific areas for example four mole three phase lick program was developed for a cow and calf system in areas where big differences occurs in the nutritional value of summer and winter pastures and where acute to moderate deficiencies in phosphorus occur the purpose of four the purpose of four mole three phase lick programs is to ensure that the cow herd conditions and, nutri and nutritional status is adequate during the critical stages of the production year acceptable winning weight for the environment three phase leak programs briefly entails the following phase one wet season leak approximately 150 days this period starts approximately four to six weeks after the good rains the felt is abundantly green high in protein highly digestible and palatable force Fight and trach elements are the most limited nutrients on green on green natural felt, and the purpose of of the wet season leak is to maximize growth. What is used? You can use four mal super force four mal rami rami vita P six in areas where salt is readily available. Mix four mal rami vita rumi white p12 with 50 percent salt i think this is like p6 p12 in high rainfall areas consider the formal force fate block to limit leak loss so you can when it's very rainy rather than throwing out the dry leak put the block and then you got phase two dry season um leak approximately 150 days as soon as plants are dormant their nutritional value phase two dry season leak approximately 150 days as soon as plants are dormant and their nutritional value thereof is poor dry season leak must be provided dry season felt is dry and low in protein poorly digestible and less palatable causing lower felt intake the prime the primary deficiency is protein or more specifically nitrogen for the room microorganisms therefore protein and in particular degraded protein and non-protein nitrogen npn and urea are the most important nutri nutrient in winter leak to maintain body condition various leaks are available depending on the individual farm farmer's environment and preferences you got four mol four mal premix 450 Dandy leak concentrate, eco, econ, econo, economy. I think the one is econo leak, high felt leak, protein block, vents, vents leak concentrate. Phase three, late dry season supplement, production leak approximately sixty days. In the late dry season, felt is usually very dry and very low in protein well protein well low digestibility intake is also low with little available uh, materials 
The purpose of supplement is to limit limit a loss of mass and energy. Protein must be provided by a production leak. This period is the most expensive and producers must therefore be very sel selective when providing leak. Cows, cows calving in this period must be given a production leak. You have this type. Full male production leak, full male super 18, production leak mixed with premix, 450, high felt leak or dandy leak concentrate or vincel leak concentrate. The intake. Beef cows weigh on average 450 kilograms, will consume an approximately 4.1 tons of felt per year. Its intake in the wet season will be approximately 2,7% of, of its body weight. While least in the dry season and due to the low passage rate, the unpalatable of the grazing intake will drop to about 2%. 2% of the body weight. During the late pregnancy and early lactation, cows will consume at their highest rate due to their high nutri nutri nutrient requirements by nutrient requirements by following the three phase leak program as discussed above. The total annual intake of leaks for these cows will only be around 165 kilograms to 200 kilograms. This equates to less than 5% annually feed intake. That's the full male feed, three-phase feeding program and the type of leak they offer. Um, now some announcements as I'm coming to the end of the video. The announcement that I have is, is everybody knows we have the upcoming Farmers Day in the Zambezi region on the 17th and 18th of June this month get do book tickets i mean do book your seats in advance or you can also pay at the door but don't miss us out if you have an idea of where we should go host the farmers day hit me up the number is 081 6506 948 i think i said it right let me just make sure the number to hit us up on whatsapp would be 081 6506 498 I made a mistake but that's the number you guys can hit us up and let us know where you would love us to come out with our beef production classes and we can come have talks on farming but it's not just going to be left i mean camped only on livestock we'll also be touching on the horticulture side of things very soon but we're outside the plowing season but we'll be coming into that with that said ladies and gentlemen i just want to say bye for now